AFSOC came to Robbins with a need to uh, turn the aircraft around faster, specifically six targeted aircraft, three gunships like this one, and three Talons. Uh, basically, it's a direct need for increased aircraft availability. So our challenge was to turn this aircraft around in uh, 152 days. I'm happy to announce that we delivered this aircraft in 100 days, 52 days faster than our own accelerated target. So this is a, an ACU gunship, uh, obviously with the uh, 105 cannon and the other attack weapons on this aircraft. It is more complex than a uh, H model or a slick aircraft. Uh, obviously trying to get this back to the warfighter to uh, fly missions regularly and routinely. So it definitely has its own unique characteristics, uh, maintenance challenges, you name it. We had a very well synchronized and choreographed plan to bring this aircraft in as soon as it touched down, go ahead and hit it with maintenance personnel, bringing in all of our enterprise partners, the support squadron, the commodities maintenance group, uh, also to include though our DLA partners, Air Force Supply Chain, DLA Supply. Uh, this really was a far-reaching effort to uh, plan this aircraft out to the tiniest detail, synchronize everyone for success. Uh, this aircraft is a shining example of what you can do with a well-informed team and uh, a well, well thought out plan. This is a tremendous uh, improvement for our team as a whole. It just goes to show what this workforce can produce. We really are a world record here. This airplane, we actually had to take, you know, totally depaint the airplane. We actually work, we worked all the fuel tanks. We uh, took all the gun boosts out. We checked all the avionics. We did some ex uh, extensive uh, structural maintenance repairs on the airplane because it had some corrosion on it. Because bear in mind, this airplane has been flying for five years since the last PDM. So I had a lot of structural issues. I had a lot of metal bond issues that we had to work through. So a lot of structural issues that we had to work through on this airplane to get it combat ready again. And they asked us to, uh, to accelerate this because they need additional airplanes out there. So bear in mind, anytime we have an airplane here for 181 days, that's 181 days that it's not in the AOR fighting the war on terrorism. So that's the reason they asked us to accelerate this airplane. This is extremely important because it, it actually shows the, uh, the talent of the world-class folks we have here working the airplane, but also supporting the airplane. Like I say, it goes all the way back to our SPO uh, personnel, and that's the uh, program office that's responsible for the management of the aircraft. It goes back to all the Air Force uh, supply agencies, our DLA uh, supply customers. I mean, that's extremely important to show the talent that's available here and to show that we can take on any workload. You know, we've got the workforce, we've got the engineering background, we've got the supportability folks here to take on any additional workload that's out there. And everyone knows there's a lot of C-130 workload out there. So we're telling them to bring it to us because we've got a world-class folks that can take care of it.